2016 PBR Built for Tough Series is well underway, and we are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But a major announcement has happened, and it's going to shake up the Western sports world like no other. And it is a longtime dream of PBR CEO Sean Gleason, and you're going to be a major part of that coming up. Yeah, we're going to have the, you know, with Helder Auto Days, we're going to combine that with the PBR in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's going to be a great deal. We're going to be having a rodeo, PRCA rodeo, in the afternoon, PBR at night. Can't get much better than that. And for me and guys like Derek, uh, Derek Kababa, maybe Stetson Lawrence, Nevada Newman, they all have their cards. And so uh, maybe we'll get a chance to ride at Helder Auto Days and the PBR. I'm going to try to enter the bronc ride. And hopefully, uh, you know, if I get dried out, I'll just uh, just show up and keep waiting to see if I can get in. Did you say bronc riding? Yeah, I've actually had really good luck at Helder Auto Days in the bronc ride. And I won second there and fourth there in the bronc ride. And so. Now, but you're already slated to ride both Helder Auto Days and the Last Cowboy Standing. Last Cowboy Standing enough by itself is a major major day in a major two days in Las Vegas. It is the best of the best and the strongest survive. How do you go in there mentally and focus on riding two times each day and two huge events? I mean, it's it's what I do. Uh, it's I rodeo and I PBR and you know, it's not the first time I've hit both a rodeo and a PBR on the same day. Uh, a couple years back, I went to uh, Last Cowboy Standing or in Iron Cowboy in Dallas, and I was at the San Antonio Extreme Bulls that morning. So, uh, you know, I had a chance of getting on nine bulls that day, and I ended up getting on four. Iron Cowboy, I got on five. It's nothing new for us to go and get on multiple times. And, uh, you know, that's just like the busiest part of my rodeo season over the 4th of July. We're getting on two, three times a day, especially over the 4th. And so it's just, I'm excited, you know. It's great that the, the PBR brought out the, the committee at Helder Auto Days and they get to host a, an event. You know, that's, that's a two-stop shop for me. I get to compete twice and try to win twice as much money. Absolutely, and another huge mark coming up in October as we go to a brand new arena for the PBR World Finals. Las Vegas is making history this year. Yeah, I mean, Las Vegas is where dreams come true as far as Rodeo Cowboys. It's where the PBR Finals are. It's where the NFR. We're starting new at a new building here that's going to be, you know, it's it's going to be big and brand new, and it's, it's going to be awesome. You know, P PBR is always visualizing for the future, and, and that's what they're doing with both Helder Auto Days and with the PBR Finals. Absolutely great. Great luck. It's going to be fun to watch you all day, all night out there, but none for the weary. That's right. I mean, I can't wait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hetland here, 2016 PBR right here in Sioux Falls, talking to PBR bull rider Shane Proctor about Helder Auto Days and the last Cowboys standing.